Hey guys, so today's video is going me is gonna be with my best friend. She's not here with me, but she's here in spirit. You can't see her because she don't like being on camera, but um <clears throat> today we're gonna be talking about Mandela effect. So Kayla I just told her about the Mandela effect today and when she was looking up, like looking through it, like she literally just started to fall in that trap and I told her not to do it. I told her don't do it. Guys, I thought my friend was crazy. She's not crazy, all right? I, she's a little crazy, but this effect is real. This stuff is not in your head. You're not crazy. You're not on nothing. You're not drinking nothing. And if you are, you need to stop so you can think clearly. This shit is real. And I also have another special guest, my mom. And she's just going to come on in when I get to the ones that she especially knows. So the definition of a Mandela effect, according to the internet, is the observed phenomenon of people having clear memories of events that did not occur or misremembering significant events and facts. Um, the reason that they call it the Mandela effect is because a lot of people um, from back in the day, they actually remember Nelson Mandela dying a few years ago in prison, but a lot of people actually, you know, they question that one, like, my mom doesn't remember him dying in prison, do you? Yes, I do. You do remember? Yes, I heard oh. about it. I ain't gonna say I remember. I heard about See, it. See, even my mom remembers yeah. hearing that Mandela died in prison, but a few years ago, we heard that Mandela was about to die, and then he eventually died, so... That's kind of where the term Mandela Effect comes from, and there's a lot of examples, and in this um, video, I'm going to be talking about the examples, and in the next video, I'm going to do some more research, but on the next video, I'm going to be up here talking about why people believe that the Mandela Effect occurs. So, the first one we're going to talk about is the mirror, mirror on the wall one. So, everybody has seen Snow White, and everybody's seen the scene where the um, mean lady was in the mirror, and she goes, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? But, see, but now, everybody's saying that it is magic mirror on the wall. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall? Who is the fairest? Famed is thy beauty, Majesty, but oh, a lovely maid I see. Right. Kayla, what do you remember? Well, quite frankly, I remember Magic Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> she has to be that one person. Yeah, it's definitely Mirror Mirror. Thank you. And Mirror we've Mirror. all grown up watching Snow White and things like that, so like, we would know, Mommy, what do you remember? Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Thank you. We all remember it, and there's been plenty of references to that, to the mirror, mirror on the wall. How does everybody in the world remember mirror, mirror on the wall? And it wasn't mirror. No, I don't know one person who remembers her saying magic mirror on the wall. I don't know one person. The next one that we're going to be talking about is the fact that Curious George never had a tail. Yeah, they're saying that Curious George never had a tail. I'm not sure if Kayla... Do you remember Curious George having a tail? Because when I told you about that one, you didn't seem sure. Yeah, it, that one's kind of fucking me up. I don't remember that one. Yeah, like... That one's good. Yes, my mom used to always let me watch it. She let my little brother watch it. Like, we all grew up on Curious George. Like, that's one of the shows that come on when you don't have cable, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes! <laughs> Curious George had a tail, man. He used to swing from his tail, bounce on his tail. I think I remember at one point, it was like in the theme song, he bounced on his tail or something. I'm not sure, but... I know that Pierce George, with his tail was a significant part of the show, like a lot of the times. But they're saying he never had a tail. Now, going along with the tail one, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the Mickey Mouse one. 
This woman, my mom, is right here. I'm gonna switch the camera over to her. Ready? This is my mom, guys. Hi. I can't, I don't know if you guys can see her well, but you see who she has on her shirt right now. Mickey. Mickey Mouse. And actually, as a matter of fact, let's zoom in on her shirt. If you can see, he has the two holes for the suspenders on his shirt. That's literally my mom's favorite person to this day. Like, my Mima had her entire room when she was younger decorated with uh, Mickey Mouse. And this woman remembers Mickey Mouse having suspenders. Way back in the day, he used to dance with his suspenders like that. I even remember that. And I wasn't alive then, but I've seen, you know, the little old clips like on Disney or whatever. Mickey Mouse had suspenders. Now you can't find anywhere with him suspenders unless it was edited. Kayla, do you remember Mickey Mouse with suspenders? Yes. Uh, he even had them in that, um, you remember that music video that used to come on? on Disney Channel where it's like, where he's dancing with Minnie and it's like, oh, her eyes. Her oh, eyes. yes. And then the next one is what makes it. It actually puts rage in my heart when I think about this. Jiffy peanut butter. We know it was Jiffy peanut butter. I know it was Jiffy peanut butter. It was Jiffy peanut butter. Like, it makes me mad. It was Jiffy. Everybody knows it was Jiffy. I never in my life, well, actually, recently I've seen Jiff. They're saying that it's always been Jiff. Not at all. Nope. And I still remember the cover with like the different colors. Wasn't it like the different color little stripes? Yeah. Mm hmm. It doesn't make sense. It was Jiffy peanut butter. That one's not as significant, but I don't know why it makes me so mad because I literally remember it being Jiffy. But yeah, so the next one is going to be the Berenstein Bears one. My little brother is young, so he be trying to debate me on that one. He be like, no, it's Berenstein. He's too young. I used to watch Berenstein Bears all the time, and I remember it strictly being Berenstein. I've never heard Berenstein Bears. No, it doesn't make sense. Have you heard Berenstein, Berenstein Bears? No. And even in the song, he goes, the Berenstein Bears. Like, it doesn't, but apparently it was, um, that show was actually named after a couple or something like that. And if you look it up, they even said their names were Berenstein. But I strictly remember it being Berenstein, and it's so crazy, and it makes me crazy. No, Berenstein. You remember it being Berenstein. I meant Berenstein, yeah. Berenstein. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being very steam. Oh, the next one we're gonna talk about is is Pikachu. Oh, yes. I'm gonna leave this one up to Kayla. Yeah, okay guys. So Pikachu, they're saying that he didn't have a black stripe on his tail. Towards the end of his tail. And he most definitely did. Now, I didn't watch Pokemon and all that other, but I know he had that black stripe on his tail. Point blank. Right, everybody remembers that little black stripe. Like, it doesn't make sense. It, like, makes me crazy. It doesn't even look right without the black stripe. It really doesn't. See, look, like, my mom just looked it up. And they have like this weird ombre thing like, hold on, let me, it won't focus, oh yeah, okay, there it goes. Like, if you look, like you literally cannot find a picture of him without the um, black stripe on his tail and it just doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. It does not look right without the black stripe. He was so cute though, look at him. This one doesn't have a black stripe, 
but it does have a black heart at the end which is basically signifying his black stripe. Next we're going to talk about is Oscar Mayer. They're saying that it was Oscar Mayer, which makes no sense to me. It just doesn't even sound right, like, yeah. Oscar Mayer? Okay, but yeah, so Oscar Mayer. They're saying that it was never Oscar Mayer, that it was always Oscar Mayer. But you could call anybody up right now and ask them. Yeah, like, everybody knows that it was Oscar Mayer Wieners. Okay, so I was trying to look up this Oscar Meyer thing, and literally the internet search key keeps like correcting it to Oscar Mayer without me even clicking it. Mm -hmm. See? Because like you know how like whenever you misspell something, and then the Google's like, did you mean to say this? Yeah, yeah. And then you click on it for it to change, but I didn't even click on it. It's just changing it on its own. And then um oh the Monopoly Man. Yes, sir. The Monopoly Man never had a monocle. You know the little, the little one glass thing? Like, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have It's like a circular glass. Mm hmm. They're saying he never had it. I'm gonna insert a picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he never had it. It just, it makes me crazy because it's just one of those, like, something so little that anybody would normally, like, you know, be able to, that you could just overlook super duper fast. But then you remember, you're like, yeah, no, the Monopoly man has a monocle. Never. They're saying he never had a monocle. Ever. It's weird. I don't watch it, but you watch it, Mommy. Do you watch Star Wars? I'm, I'm not a big Star Wars. That's Cliff. So, in the movie Star Wars, there's this one distinct scene. I mean, yeah, everybody refers to this thing and scene and everything where he goes, Luke, I am your father. Darth Vader does that. But apparently he never said, Luke, I am your father. He said, no, I am your father. He told me you I'm gonna try and find as many clips as I can of people saying, Luke, I am your father. La, la, Luke, Luke, I am your father. I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father. I said to myself, these are lying. I wonder how they're gonna play that liar. Not like these are like literally people in Hollywood directors and everything that would put that inside of a show or a movie or a scene where they say, Luke, I am your father. And the next one is gonna be for Breed. But Kayla just heard about the uh, Mandela effect today, and she just told me about how um, she bought a Febreze bottle and thought it was spelled weird. When was this? When would you say this was? It was like maybe a few months ago, and I like was just cleaning around my house and wanted it to smell good, and I picked up the bottle and I was like, since when is it spelled like this with only one E? See, and like, she's never heard of the Mandela effect back then. She didn't know about it. So there's no way, like, you know she's not just saying it because of the Mandela effect. She remembers that. After you're done with this one, I just have one that has been pressing on my heart. You want to talk about it? Yes. Okay. I love the out of giraffes. So I decided that my nickname was going to be Melvin from Madagascar. And literally, I looked it up. <laughs> For some reason, this name is Melman. <laughs> Who the f name 
is Melman. There's no way I can be the only who remembers his name being Melvin. I remember now, my being Melvin. My says it's Melman. This man's name is Melvin. I will die on that one. His name is Melman. It's Melman. Like, that's for a loser. Like, you have to be a complete loser to name yourself Melman. <laughs> Tell us it well if anybody ever sees this video because I only get like two views on my if anybody ever sees this video and you remember his name being Melvin, please let us know because I remember it being Melman. She remembers it being Melvin. But I always thought it was Melman because he was a mailman. Okay, so the first spelling was F-R-U-I-T, like fruit. And then loops. And now it's F R O O T with two little which makes loops. no sense. It don't even yeah. look right. It literally makes no sense. Yeah, it makes you remind you of foot. Yeah, it does look like foot loops. Ew. But with the R. I do remember F R U I T. They probably just changed it though. Uh -uh, is that even a logo? Word? The last one we're gonna talk about is um, Shirley Temple. So you you can talk about this one too. I just know I haven't like heard about her for a little while now, but I did grow up listening to her songs. When did you say she died in like 2000 something? Yeah, like 2014, I think. Or 2011. Oh, 2014. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. But a lot of people remember her. Dying a few years ago. I mean, like, more than. Like, a while back yeah, ago. Yeah, like, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I don't remember her dying in 2014. Yeah, like, apparently she never died. But every a lot of people remember Shirley Temple being dead for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Including myself. Because I heard she was like a victim of like, um pedophilia like they really did used to sexualize that girl but yeah that I thought she died young you guys swear I asked one day it was like before 2014 I asked um if she was still alive and my teacher says no and there you have it dead and her teacher thought Shirley Temple was dead for a while <laughs> Oh, that one like is kind of weird. I don't really know. Like this one isn't one like the Berenstain Bears or Mirror Mirror on the Wall that I'm a hundred percent sure on. But I just like you know how you have that like and the dude from um the dude who did Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Oh yeah, him too. Yep. The um from the, the creepy old, old one. one. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video featuring my sister. My mom, who has left, my best friend, and the voice of Cliff. <laughs> um, but yeah, so well, if I ever get big on YouTube, I'm gonna link my sister's Instagram, my best friend's Instagram. I only got 50 followers, so please follow me. But um, I'm gonna link my sister's Instagram. My best and my best friend's Instagram. I'm gonna link my Instagram down there too, so follow me. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and share to keep us growing. But yeah, and don't forget about Melvin. Melvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And comment below if you guys remember Mel his name being Melman or Melvin, and that might just turn into a new Mandela effect. And yeah, so make sure you guys tune in next week because I'm gonna be posting a video about why the Mandela effect happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys like oh. Things like that are better to be left to the psychopaths and the psychiatrists.